Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. It's early in the morning and I'm at White Blossom Cottage Reborn. So this is the second iteration of this mod by M Fearless Heart. She's discovered clickies and she's done wonderful things with them. So I'll show you where we are on the map. Uh, here's Riverwood. We are just above it and above that is Riverwood Rest where I was the other day. So I sometimes have a bad memory. Too much skooma back in the day. Forgive me if I sometimes repeat myself. <laughs> okay, so we're just outside the gates of Riverwood and you'll find a little note here. Drop note to Juliet. My sweet Juliet, I know you've gone off to Morrowind in search of your beloved. I can't take losing you. I'm sorry. We'll meet once more. I'm heading to Riften to find you. Well, didn't get very far, poor guy. And if you carry on going up the hill... Your landscape might be slightly different than mine. I've got the Skyrim Flora Overhaul installed. Just here at this tree, you'll find some buried bones and a knapsack and the key. So just here, imagine you've just got out of a Helgen, you've headed to Riverwood, you've got nowhere to live, you've got <laughs> a few bits of storm cloak armor if you're lucky, and then you find this wonderful home. Yes, please, that's perfect. Especially as you've got this great crafting deck out the back here with name storage. Gorgeous, isn't it? And the home is even more so. So I was so impressed with this last time, but now there's even more to love. Just sitting here early in the morning on the bench, feeding the pigeons. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right. So inside is ch super charming. Inigo hasn't come in with me, so I'm not quite sure what the issue there is. Uh, but I can conjure him. Whoa, I was chasing my tail. I am glad it made the trip with me. Good to see you, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then he can relax here. Ask away. Why not? Let me know when you are ready to move on. There he is in his wedding wreath. <laughs> So, the inside of this house, how gorgeous. It's beautifully lit. Decoration is exquisite. And this whole ground floor is just awesome. There is now a bed for him. So that is so cool. Also, you can light the fire. Or, you know, turn it off again. As you wish. Brilliant. You can also set the table. Table for two, that is awesome nice bowl of stew and mead Look at that oh in you go dude <laughs> there we go he seems to be struggling a little bit there okay and so look at this how pretty there's name storage there's plenty of it some safes here Really nicely done. Cozy, cozy furniture. Look at that beautiful ink pot. We'll go in there in a sec. I'll just show you the kitchen. There's, you know, slidey doors for your little fridge, your meat storage. Oh, it's lovely. Berries and grapes, milk and butter. I love all that. Look at this, it's so attractive, don't you think? It's very rustic and very charming. So you'll see there's a cauldron there. Here's your oven, so you can do all your baking. And then you can put the cooking pot there. Look how massive that is, that is such a huge one. I love it. And then just do your cooking in the normal way. Gingerbread cookie, where has that come from? I don't even know. I often find that, I've got that many mods installed and I just, can't remember which one adds what. But that is that is Christmassy. <laughs> How pretty. So finally on this floor you have your sauna come bathroom. This is super cute, isn't it? Just room for you. So you can sit here and get all nice and warm and cozy and lovely. Nice and clean, and then you come out. And then you can have a nice cold shower. 
through the shower and into the grotto. This is gorgeous. Shower. I meant to say waterfall. And how lovely. Oh, I love these things. I love them so much. I wish every home had one. So you've got this beautiful pool, a spot for Dawnbreaker. Oh, what a place to sit and meditate. Oh, I think I've actually got Dawnbreaker on me. Oh, or not. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. Thought I did. I must be in the museum with everything else, I guess. Look at all these beautiful plants. The lighting is fab. So this doesn't actually go anywhere, but um, it's gorgeous to have. So detailed and so pretty. And warm back up in the sauna again. Just lovely, eh? And look at that little fire down there. It actually looks like a small river of lava. Very cool. So this is a beautiful bathroom. I think the only thing it probably lacks is a loo. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> I know that's important to some people and not at all to others. And then finally, upstairs. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. Up here you've got your bedroom. I might just sit. And your work area. Look at all these colours. Beautiful. And you've got your arcane enchanter and your alchemy area. Look at this though. More plants to harvest. That is gorgeous. So gorgeous. So this made me smile. You can see all the storage here. You've got healing bottles, energy bottles, bottles of magic. And this one, Bottles of Death. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> what a nice way to describe your poisons. I love it. Oh, and I love that too. Oh, I would love that in real life in my home. Imagine that as a chandelier. Oh, hey, Staff of Magnus. I've, actually, there may well be more places in here for storing, you know, some of your unique items that I haven't spotted, so... Just bear that in mind. Nice book storage. That is so well done. I love with the mix of the ivy and the books. Scrolls. There's a lot to see. You know, a lot of detail to pay attention to. Look at that. The candle's just there. And then finally, your bedroom. Which is just beautiful. So nicely done. Got a wash basin and uh, armor shelf. I think I see so many American mod authors spell armor without a U that when I see one spelt the English way, I'm like, oh, check it out. Kind of surprising because I just don't see it that often. And then the mystical orb is a vault. Uh, storage. Very much. Coin purses. And this gorgeous bed with a little soft toy. Adorable. And there's weapon storage too. Yeah. Oh, these plants on the wall. You know the, the mod that I'm forever going on about called Khajiit Rito Kalshan and the add-on for that so that you can plant your own plants? and conjure them wherever you want and there's a couple of ivies as well with that but there isn't this ivy i wish there was because that is beautiful I'll, I'll have a word with Kryman and see if he can do it for us as if he's not busy enough <laughs> all right so i think that covers just about all of the details that i wanted to talk about this place is so gorgeous i love it and i hope you do too do let me know what you think and show the mod author a bit of love. I'll leave you with the view of the cottage from here and call that the end. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everyone.